Hello friends, I am on Odoo version 17.2 and I would like to explore a bit about splitting delivery. So this is my Odoo 17.2 and I am going to showcase how split delivery uh, scheduler can work along with master production schedule. Okay guys, so first of all I would like to show you how I have configured my product. Okay, my product are configured like this. I have a finished good which is you know manufactured only and can be sold and inside in bomb i have semi-finished good and special raw material so over here uh, you can see semi-finished good requires raw material one raw material two which has a lead time of 7 10 15 and 20 days for this special raw material to produce my finished goods and this semi-finished goods i have marked uh, you know replenishment on order and manufacture again so this is how i have set up my I, you know product and now I have already released two particular quotations uh, for testing purpose where I have demand 50 quantity on one and I have split it into three deliveries in 19 days 26 days and 46 days and then I have again created a new sales order where I have split my delivery 2 plus 2 which is in 60 and 74 days so this is how I have uh, done this and in my master production schedule or AMO readiness, I would like to show you the screen where my AMO are already planned according to master production schedule. So this is from MPS and this is based on MPS, it is triggering semi-finished goods. Okay, so this is how I have uh, planned everything previously and to show you live how exactly uh, we can achieve this. So on my MPS, let me check what is the weeks which are you know still available. So this, you know, 6 to 12 May weeks and 13 to 19 May week is available where I don't have anything planned for finished good. 6 to 12 and 13 to 19. I am releasing a new sales order. Okay. For my fresh customer 3, where I am planning to produce maybe two quantities. So as soon as I uh, confirm this, you know, for 6 to 12 May week, if I say my delivery can go for the first, you know, 7th May, and I confirm the plant will be on 7th May. Still, in my production, nothing has been done. You know, forecast is this product can be made available by 28th, 5th according to the plan but now i want to split this into two so what i have to do is i have to do one quantity over here save it you know and then click on split here it will create a new out receipt okay where i just have to mark it is not still available so it is planned like this in so 4 i have two delivery splitted where my first delivery is planned on 5th, uh, uh, you know, 7th May. Okay. And then my second delivery, I want to plan maybe a week later on 14th May. So this is my plan now. I have two deliveries in two different dates. And over my master production schedule, it will come over here. Like one quantity needed on this date, one quantity on this date. Now what I will do, I will mark one and one to replenish over here. Okay, and then I will just launch and replenish this. Okay, and see how it will come into my manufacturing order planning. So this is not yet triggered. So what I will do is, let's say a forecasted or actual, which is actual demand only. And then I will say I need one quantity over here. and one here that is what my need is so it is green it is to be replenished now i just mark it and click on replenish it turns gray means it is created an ammo now for second one as soon as i do replenish it will turn gray and on my manufacturer screen now you can see more ammos planned and this is the plan for the last one where let us see in MPS we have already planned the MOS and let's check it 
this is one and one quantity which is planned you know on 6th uh, uh, you know may and then 13th may to deliver to my plan for sales order so if i go to my sales order now in my two deliveries it is on 5th uh, you know, 7th may and 14th may so according to master production schedule it will be made available you know a day prior so that is how your uh, production has been planned from your sales order split deliveries and then using this mps hope now uh, you can use this mps with split planning and plan your you know uh, mps also based on delivery and then you can eventually plan your purchase also for this semi-finished goods system has triggered a po whereby systems you know expecting the item on, on this date as soon as i confirm it will plan the deliveries the second is this one purchase order has been planned Tint number again my purchase order has to be confirmed and it will plan my you know receipt so this is how uh, you can see entire cycle has been created very smoothly with purchase and semi finished goods also for this it is already been planned so let me focus on one and one unit this is one unit PO has been planned for 18th number for 17th number also PO has been planned so which are parent and child and this 19th number purchase order has been planned for is child demo for parent demo this purchase order has been planned so now i have almost everything is available to start producing this so if i go to overview now i have my material availability with everything ready you know it is expected to arrive and i can immediately start so my purchase and uh, has been planned very smoothly over here and i can expect my you know receipt for all these things okay. these are the rest of the mo for another another uh, you know uh, rfqs has been generated so this is how i think you can club a split delivery and mps together to plan you know your entire manufacturing thing smoothly within odoo version 17.2 onwards hope this will help thank you